Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this in Design Space. So you can already see what the canvas looks like. Um, it's super cute and super fun. So anyway, before we flip over to that, if you haven't subscribed already, I totally appreciate the support if you do. And all right, let's get started. Okay, so first thing is the template. The template that you buy um, from my website, theuselesscrafter.com, it's the SVG template. And basically what it is, is it's this side piece. It's basically the foundational piece so that you can put your little um, clock mechanism in here so that you can build your own things on top. I already have the um, YouTube tutorial on how to purchase the SVG file, how to download it, how to unzip it and get it into design space. Um, so, and how to build it. The only thing that this tutorial is gonna do is be specific to the Peter Pan theme. So most of my SVG files are always your foundational block pieces so that you can put your own theme on top. All right, I hope that all makes sense. Let's look at this. So one of the things that for me as a um, crafter is that I, as much as I plan on all of this stuff, until I cut it and until I see the pieces and I start putting it together, I'm still making a lot of decisions as I piece it together. So even the best laid out plans don't always get made. So one of the things that makes the, the moving piece very difficult, it's definitely not the clock itself. That time mechanism, that clock mechanism is super easy. If you haven't seen it, check out the video if you're, if you're doubting me. Basically, you plop in a battery, you put on the hand, and it starts to rotate. That is not hard. What is difficult is that as your pieces rotate, what does it look like and how do you incorporate your theme? So in this one with Peter Pan, it was really difficult because you see how this is great. He's flying through the night, but as he flies through the night here, he is now like he will start to flip upside down. And so you need to make sure that as this, as the hand rotates and your image rotates with it, your character is going to be upside down at some point and it's going to look really weird. And actually, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see that a little bit better. So you see this little guy right here is going to start to rotate. He's going to rotate with the clock. So he looks good. He's flying through the night. His legs, he's starting to turn upside down. And next thing you know, he's upside down. <laughs> so when he's upside down, this is when I originally thought I would bring in the bridge. But with the bridge, there are still open areas, right? So let me make this a little bit smaller now that we understand what's going on. So I had the bridge here, I had the offset, but there still needed to be more stuff because this character, you can still see it through here, which is when I brought this ship over. Even with the ship, um, and the ship is laid over here and I was gonna have some clouds. And I was gonna have the moon over here. So there's still some open areas here because you can see like as he's rotating in between the sails, you can still see this character. So that's when I decided to add water. Um, so all right, let's start breaking this down. So I wanted to show you kind of my thought process on how this all worked. So first thing is let's go back out and go into Etsy. Um, oops. <laughs> Let me show you. So on Etsy, I did buy from, I did buy a couple SVG files. Um, I like SVG files because I can always flatten them and turn them into stickers and change anything that I need to. Um, the other thing is for this project, I really needed a JPEG or a PNG file. Um, but if I ever wanted to do Tinkerbell as an off the mat character or anything else where I'm actually gonna cut cardstock, then I would have to buy the SVG file on top of it. So I always like to buy SVG files because then I can always turn that into a, you know, the print, print then cut feature. So, all right, let me show you. So this is, um, this is from Elite SVG. I bought two files from Elite SVG. 
Um, this is for Tinkerbell. I also bought Peter Pan from Elite SVG, and you may recognize this is the one that we used. Sorry, let me go back. Um, the one that we used for Tinkerbell is, I believe, this, yeah, this one right here. And then the last one is I needed Wendy and her brother, her two brothers, right? Um, here, this little guy right here that you see, and where's the other one? Right here. So I did buy three, S three separate SVG files for this, okay? All right, so now that you know, uh, let's go back into design space and let's look at a couple of things. The SVG file. The SVG file that you buy from me, from the Useless Crafter, it's already sized correctly for an eight inch cake topper. The middle piece, this piece right here is six inches, so you don't need to make any changes to that. All you need to do at this point is you would ungroup it and, and then you would size all your, your Peter Pan themed items to fit already the SVG file from me, okay? All right, so let's do that. Let's look at what we have. Um, there are a couple things that we're gonna be adding. And right now, I'm just gonna delete some of these things, okay? So I'm gonna move these little guys over. We're working backwards because I want you to see everything um, and how we pieced it together. All right, so the first thing is the moon. This moon, I'm gonna give you the image info, is right here. So it's gonna be M3 CFAF751. I like this moon, it fit in, so let's cancel out of it. So that's the first thing. Now with the moon, what I did do though is I have three copies of this moon. I like the moon and you can see when we dropped it in, it's about 3.2 inches, okay? And I have three um, copies of the moon because I layered them so that it sits kind of on top and then Tinkerbell sits on top of the moon. So it's very much a layered uh, look and it just gives you, um, because the moons are stacked, you can also then add some clouds behind the moon. So let me move a range send to the front. So I've got the moon uh, here. I've got some clouds over here. And then I added some acetate stars that I bought from Michaels, like in a jar, um, like confetti. So the, the stars will go all the way around here. Um, all right, so we've got clouds. We've got Tinkerbell. Um, is Tinkerbell over here? There she is. Tinkerbell is about one and a half inches high. She's sitting above right here. She's sitting like that. Now, there is a light that goes right here and it's gonna light her up. So when I did that, um, Tinkerbell has an offset. So let's click on offset and um, let's do point, 0.20 okay you can have a this is what that offset looks like what I ended up doing is it is a little thick I trimmed it right around here on the the angel wings okay but make sure you use vellum paper vellum will then actually distribute that light and it looks like she's glowing from all over so vellum paper is perfect for this um all right so we've got these two you can make if you like this is all um based on personal preference right that was 0 0.20 let's do another offset i'm gonna do it a little bit thin thinner um and i'm gonna go with 0.15 So this one's a little bit thinner. I think I like the 0.15 more. And it's clear, right? Um, or like kind of like a frosted because it's vellum paper. So it's not distracting. You can even do smaller if you like. So you can do um, a 0 0.10. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like. I 
I think I like the 0 0.10 the most, but I wanna give you those options. Now, if you notice for whatever reason, the wings right here, there's some, there's a hole and there's like a little cutout here. What you wanna do is, um, it's weird, we should be able to contour that, but for whatever reason, it's not letting us. So normally, and I'm gonna say that's a glitch in the system because that is an enclosed area and we should be able to click on it and just contour. In this case, because we can't contour, you could just put the sticker on there because the wings go over it and it's not a big deal. So I would do that or <laughs> because it's a great learning lesson, let's go to shapes and let's see if this works. Sometimes when it's glitchy, it's just going to be glitchy and even this won't work. But I'm going to put this little oval right over it. Let's turn this this way. I'm going to try to cover up that hole, okay? Let's grab these two items and weld and see if it, yep, so it closed up that little hole, right? There's like a little spot right there as well. Um, it's so weird that it doesn't let me contour. But anyway, so this is the piece for Tinkerbell. We're starting to get all the pieces in, right? The pirate ship is seven and a half inches across. So if you do that, you should be fine. It will fit uh, right around here, okay? And then the clouds. I picked two different sets of clouds, okay? So the first cloud, let's go to image. So these are three sets of clouds or three pieces of this set. And I like having um, some different shapes and sizes because then when you layer it, it looks like it's all together, but it doesn't look like the same. So this is the first set of clouds, M3D88A048. Okay, and then we have another set of clouds. Um, the other one is, I think it's, is this the same one? Let's see. Oh, that's the same one. Hold on, this one. This is two sets right here, and this one's M7F34BDD. You should be able to see that. All right, so what you would do is, for instance, if you had this, then you would go into images, and you would drop in that item number and hit enter, and then there's your clouds. Select on it, add to canvas. So your clouds, you want to size this so that it makes sense. So it's about that much, about three inches. You can make some different sizes, duplicate it, make it a little bit bigger. These are so small that I cut a few to see how many I end up using. You can start to layer them um, and you may have extras, you may wanna put more clouds, like you can put some more clouds back here, bring this to the front, and you can see it, it, it won't add so much, but it gives you the layers and you might like that look. Um, I like having the clouds in two different colors. I cut one in gray and then I cut one in like a dark gray glitter paper, just so that there's a little bit peeking through and it looks good. So. All right, so we've got the clouds, we've got the ship, we've got the moon. Now you have the characters. The characters that come in, um, let's break this apart for a second. Okay, this is your center circle, right? We know it's six inches here. So this circle is about a little bit under three inches, and I have all my characters flying through. I want it to be gonna be like this because your clock is gonna be going clockwise so what happens is if you notice let's go back to design space um, some of these characters let's see did I have to Peter Pan on this one is facing this way so when you have that when you bring in your images what you want to do is you can go to flip and you can flip 
both ways so for it to make sense, right? So if your characters were facing this way, you wanna go um, and flip them horizontally and it would flip the other way so that they're all facing this way, flying this way <laughs> clockwise, okay? So uh, Wendy is a little bit under two inches. They're all about 1.8 to two inches. Um, I made this one much smaller because he's the baby. And here's Peter Pan at 1.8. So you can kind of see, you can decide on that sizing, but that's the sizing that I went with. Um, all right, the last piece to this, and I wonder if I even have it saved, is it may have been a last minute addition and it's not even saved on this file. Uh, let me double check here. Nope, I did not. Okay, I did water because Oops, let's bring this back up. The ship goes here and you can see the characters, by the time they get over here, they're starting to look like this. Peter Pan at this point down here, I'm gonna flip him over so that you can see. He's gonna be upside down like that, right? So right here you can kind of still see the characters. So I put water right here and I put the ship, I think the ship probably is right around here. So let's go and look at images and look up waves. And I believe I used this one. So let's look at the image number. It's M28BBF3C. F. <laughs> so let me grab that for a second and give me just one second here. Okay. All right. I was going to drop it somewhere, but that's okay. Let's add it to canvas. So these waves look funny, right? And I don't exactly remember what I did with it. <laughs> um, <coughs> I use HTV and you're gonna see what I'm gonna do in a second. So I know that the inside square is six inches, right? So let's, or not the square, the circle. So I'm gonna do this. Let's move these two items over. Okay, let's make this six inches. So let's do something like this. I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm just gonna slice it. That's gonna give me this ocean like that, okay? And that way, I'm gonna do an offset because it's gonna go on paper. I'm gonna do 0.05 because I want it thin, okay? So let's apply that. And let's look at this for a second. Let's grab this contour, hide all. And if we really wanted this to be all black, all you need to do is go and grab some circles and kind of, you know, add it there. Duplicate, let's get this over here. Um, gonna hide that piece right and then grab all of this and weld it so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have a dark gray background the water is gonna be dark blue and it's gonna look like this I'm gonna change this color really quickly to like a dark blue and I'm just gonna group this so that it moves together right now I'm going to bring this over. So this is going to look like this. So the water is going to cover the characters as they come down. Now, the other thing that I did though is because I, I made the water funky, I made it go up like this so you can only see the characters for a little bit. And I had it like right around here. So we can see the characters flying through the night, but coming down, hitting the water, 
here's um, the moon, the clouds. The water is so dark that you actually don't really see it. And I've got clouds over here. Oops, arrange, send to the front. That's pretty much what that looks like. But the clouds are layered on top of the sails and behind the sails so that you can see the sails peeking through right here. And this you can kind of layer like, you know, it looks something like that. And that's it. I know it seems like it's a lot more. Um, you can see the in-depth pictures on Instagram, but I really wanted to show you the measurements and kind of like I said, we were just adding things on here. I knew that the water was going to be a deep dark color that I used in HTV. I specifically used that because I knew that it would not be distracting, that the water is kind of lopsided. But it needed to be that way in order for my ship and my characters to work. So that is all. I cannot wait to see what you guys make with this. Um, I'm going to piece this together in a different tutorial so that once you've cut everything, I'm going to show you um, all the fun layering of this project. All right, that's all I have for you. Comments, questions, please post them below. But um, I hope that you can now make more of these moving cake toppers because now it all um, has been pieced together and makes sense as to um, you know, what, what pieces are going to be moving and how to incorporate it. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support uh, through your purchase and also um, subscribing to my channel. All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye.